Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Dream Zones. Today we talk about my very first 1-6 scale hair scout repaint for the Matrix character Morpheus, aka Lolan Fishburne. Please bear in mind, this is a very first hair scalp that I painted with hand but not airbrush. Anyway, I never used airbrush before. But so far, the final result is really really good as you can see. I am very happy with it. In this video, mainly I just show you the repaint of the hair scalp. If you like it, you can also check it out my custom made 1-6 scalp The Matrix Morpheus. Alright, without further ado, let us begin. I'm desperately and always looking for the good Morpheus hair scalp. But unfortunately, in the market, the choice is really really limited and they don't come cheap. Luckily, I got this one from eBay, just about $18. And I'm so surprised when I got it on hand, the detail looks fantastic. You might think it looks too skinny for Morpheus. But as you see, Lauren Fishman on the Matrix is a bit skinny. On the Reload or Revolutions, his face a bit round. That is the major difference. The only downside in this face scout, I believe is the face. As you can see, there is a lot of holes on it. I actually don't know how to fix it and what type of material I should use. Therefore, I just leave it that way. I believe I can always come back to fix it if I know how to repaint. Under this hair scalp, there is a hole as you can see. I drew the hole myself because I want to do something related to fit on his sunglasses. You will see the full detail on the other videos. The hair scalp will fit on this African male's body. To begin the repaint, for the base color, I'm using this cheap brown color spray paint that I get in local hardware shop. Just based on the sticker color, it looks quite close to the body. So I will first spray the base and get back to you guys. But before it, you can see his eyes, not only a bit glossy, it's also not completely white. It looks really like an eyeball's color. I want to keep it that way and I will mask it before I do any paint job. I'm gonna use a blue tag to do the masking. It's easy to apply and it sticks well and also easy to remove. All you need to do is just make sure you cover all the edges. Alright, here you go. I have both of his eyes covered with the blue tape. And now it's ready to do the base paint. A little longer than a few minutes later. Alright, now I have the base paint and it's dry but it, it doesn't look brown. It's more like a, the red color or something like that. I'm not sure uh, what's going on but anyway, I will go for it and continue with my other layer and let's see how's the result. Okay, model color again. This is the main four color I would use for this paint job and also I have to show you this three paint brush that I get it from a cosmetic shop. They come with three sizes. It looks really, really fine. Ideally, it's for the eyeliner drawing. And also the sponge. The sponge is used for makeup, I think. I will use this to do a topping so the color will go more evenly. All right, let's it begin. The first, I'm gonna use the beige brown color. Most of the layer I decide to do is not too heavy. Basically, it's like a wash. As you can see, when I apply to the head scalp, it's not too heavy. But this paint is very easy to dry. So when it dry and you keep applying, the layer will build up and the whole painting will look more smooth. And you need to be patient. The real color will come out after it dry. All right, I'll show you what it means. Here I got the hair scalp painted in the beige brown and it's still wet. A minute later, there you go, it dry and it looks so different. To be honest, this is the first time for me to use this color to paint a hair scalp, but it not happen when you paint in normal plastic. This is really weird for me too. The base brown present too bright, so I need to mix with the dark brown color and repaint again with the darker brown. I got the new mix and it looks more promising. I believe when it dry, it will go to the directions that I need. As I mentioned it, after it dry, it definitely looks better. Now the skin color is really close to the body color that I need. And time to move forward. First, I need to remove the masking from the eyes. 
and I use the brush with the water to wash away all extra color inside the eyes. Okay, next I'm gonna use this red color to give a thin wash. This is a technique I learned it from other videos. After this wash, the skin will present more lively in shadows and also like a vein inside the human skin. To complete this process, we need to do another blue color wash in the same way. After the blue wash, I think the blue color is a bit too heavy, especially on the face. But at the back of the head scalp, it looks great. I think this will be good to use to smooth skin, but not like his face. So I need to do something on it. I'm using the white color with beige brown and also mix with some dark brown to create a skin tone color that I need. It looks a bit whiter than I expected and hopefully after it dry it will turn up looks more natural. A few minutes later. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't mean to do this. <laughs> I think it's too white. <laughs> okay, never used white color to do the job. I'm using a red wash, try to bring back more natural skin color. Alright, at the result that we believe that is not what we're looking for, so I have to redo the brown mix painting again. And this time I'm gonna use a dark brown and a beige color, but not white. And I apply a very thin layer, just like a wash. And hopefully after it dry, it will bring up the base color again. Alright good, as I expected, now the color is go to more skin color that I need. And the key point is, you only apply every time only thin layer of each color. And next I'm gonna have a beige color with little bit of dark brown and little bit of white to create a brighter skin tone. But this time I'm not using paintbrush but the sponge to do a tapping. As you can see based on the last experience, this time, even though I do a tapping, I will also apply only a thin layers. And then after it dry, I apply the same color with another thin layer on top. Tapping with the sponge, it seems like even dry faster so I can see the color instantly. Yep, I think this is a good color for Morphia skin tone and also it match well with the body. What I need to do is bring more depth to the skin tone, simply applying a thin layer of red wash. After all the drama, now I finally got the skin tone I want. Alright, next we start working from the detail. First, I use white color, mix with a bit red and also some dark brown to create a color for the lips. I think the lips color is a bit too pale, so I add more red color to make it darker. Right now it's more like it. I will need to add some detail using the blue and the red wash. To bring down the lips tone, I also use some dark brown color wash. The lips detail are present well now, so I need to do some highlight. I add some white color to do a dry brush at the tips of the lips. 
and then I use a dark brown wash again in between the lips to make it more tap. And now the lips look good and I'm happy with it. Let's move on. I need to clean the eyes color and wash the dirt out by adding water. That is the main reason why I keep the eyes as originals, not doing any painting on it. Because when the eye surface is glossy, this model color is easy to remove and wash away by just adding water. That's why I like to use it. This is what exactly I mean. Now it's nice and clean and time to move forward for detail. I'm using white and red color to create a pink with a thin layer and draw a line inside the eyes. And after that, I will wash away the extra, leave the remains still inside the line naturally. After all the tap and wash, and now the color remain only at the line. It looks nice and fine. And next, we're gonna do an eyebrows color by mixing with the dark brown and black color. This hair scout originally has molded the eyebrows line, so it's actually very helpful. All I need is follow the line and draw it. Yep, I think the eyebrow is done. It looks okay for me. <laughs> I'm not expert on this, but it's a good try. Perhaps you can do better. And next, I'm gonna start working drawing the eyes. The first, I use pencil to mark it the direction that I want him to look at. So far, this is the part that is really crucial and the most difficult for me. The eye is the window for sold. Hopefully, I won't mess it up. I'm using a black color and brown color mix to draw a pupil based on the marks. And I carefully create an iris surrounding the pupil. And then I painted the full iris with the same color. I also do the same on the other eye. And I use the dark brown color painted in the middle to create the fade of the iris. Finally, I use this pointed black marker pen to create a pupil right at the center. Alright, here you go. Surprisingly, I'm doing not bad. And next step, I'm gonna seal all the paint with the Tamiya Flat Clear. The one I use is PS55. A few minutes later. Oh wow, surprisingly, the clear color is quite glossy than I expected. I ordered the flat clear, they should not be that shiny, isn't it? I think I applied only two layers, but it's still very shiny for me. And also, the skin tone become darker. It's just a bit too dark, and that's not what I want. Before I do a final touch up for the skin tone, I carefully paint the eye with the glossy clear. After applying the glossy clear to the eyes, the whole figure is simply bring to life with just a simple step. To reduce the shiny on the skin, I decide to use this beige brown color with a very thin water wash and tap. After it dry, it should balance the glossy effect. Just like I say, the tapping actually dry fast so I can see the instant result. I'm happy with how it looks now. It's not that shiny, but still it keeps the natural shine on the skin tone. That's what I like and the skin tone color match with the body really really well. I think it's all done. I'm really happy how it looks. 
And what do you think? Please leave the comments below and let me know. Alright, alright, here is the wrap. Make sure you also see my next video, Custom Make 1-6 Scout The Matrix Morpheus. Thank you for staying until now. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share to your friends. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you won't miss the coming soon video. I'll see you soon.